billion dollars by the United States Treasury that made all of my children shareholders of General Motors. General Motors just spent $1.5 billion purchasing the credit union. My children own that credit union. General Motors put $10 billion aside for auto loans. My children own that company, the shareholders of that company. This group up here that made this decision to raise tuition, the parents voted for those fools, Chuck Schumer, Christian Gillibrand, Every mayor, every city council, every state assembly, every U.S. senator, every state senator, the families, the mothers and fathers voted, voted the way they voted, telling the children to hell with your future. I'm here to tell the children it's time to take over. Nothing else, nothing else to be added to that. The parents have been pumped. Every year they vote for the same people. Yesterday some guy announced his retirement in Washington, D.C. I don't care. I'm happy he's gone. I hope Bobby Frank, I hope they're, he's a Frank, all right. Put him on a hot dog and put some mustard on his head. <laughs> I hope the rest of them join Bonnie Frank because America is in critical condition. When they graduate from college, they just graduated $45,000 in debt. There are no, there are no, debt, huh? Job, job. There are no jobs. Nothing. Stop playing games with the mind. This is the future. They have to prove that they are smarter than their parents and they're not doing it. They came out here yesterday and marched with a whole group of people just to make a whole lot of noise. You didn't invite your daddy. Christian Gillibrand, Charles Chuma should have been here. You have money from being owners of General Motors, you're a shareholder. If y'all don't know what a shareholder is, go look it up. You shouldn't be paying for this. This is what elected officials are supposed to be doing, and they're not doing it. I'm here to tell the people that you've been deep in the kids. They don't know much of it. They learn it. They're very smart. But there's some things they don't know because they haven't, it hasn't been a conversation. No one knew we was going to get in the van. i seen it coming. That's why I put the rent too damn high and a tattoo on my arm in 2004. i seen it coming. You have to have a vision. And their, their future look like nothing. Ain't nothing in their future for them. Nothing. They can't get married. They can't move and have their own apartment or house. They can't have children. They're in debt before they even take another step out of this area right here. Sometimes some are just proud. They hunger for information, and that's what I'm here to give them. Correct information. I don't represent Wall Street. I represent my street. Every child on my street gotta be, can't afford breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The mother can't afford to take them to the daycare center. Can't provide a roof over their head, food on the table, and money in their pocket. That's my street. The hell with the rich boys on Wall Street. I represent the little people. And that's what brings me here. Well, all you gotta do, uh, I, 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 there's so many, I just came off of a TV program last night in Pakistan. And they were asking me about, about Pakistan, about the American military attack. I'm a Vietnam vet, spent three years in Vietnam. I don't talk about the commander in chief. I don't do that. Huh? My next stop is, I'm enjoying the Christmas vacation right now. Uh, from the, as you know, the debate last year, it, for the past 12 months I've been in the media every day, every night. I'm taking a vacation break right now. And I, I was pretty disturbed when I heard that someone called an event yesterday and had all my children out here running around doing a whole lot of talking. But talk about something. I was pretty, I didn't want to come over here. I passed by a couple of times. I didn't want to stop by. Nobody wants to call me. They, they think this is a joke. Rent too damn high, Comedy Central. You see me on Saturday Night Live, they think this is funny. They think your future is a big joke. Huh? Well, you know that. I don't have to say that. 
They just raised it. That's something better off not being said. It explains itself. So something has to be done. This represents everything. Rent too damn high. Food too damn high. Young man went to the drugstore last night to buy a pack of condoms. They couldn't afford it because it's too damn high. <laughs> I offered him some cellophane and a rubber band. Something. <laughs> Holy shit. That's crazy. It's too damn it's, it's crazy. They're not thinking about you and what you're going through. They're thinking about themselves. They're rich. They who are the elected officials and the rich boys. They're wealthy. You don't have no future in America. And all they want you to do is pay your taxes and pay the increases and catch all the hell you're catching. Can I go now? <laughs> you're going to wave goodbye to them or what? Thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you. We got we got a new Rent Too Damn High CD on renttoodamnhigh.org. <laughs> <laughs> another one, another song we got, Christmas is too damn high. I can't afford to buy you nothing, you know. All of this is on our website. Go to renttoodamnhigh.org and check us out. We got gloves on the website. We got buttons on the website. We got a host of stuff. We need y'all to help us. Right now, people think that we're some kind of Comedy Central Saturday Night Live joke. And to show you how funny it is, they just raise your tuition to show you how funny this is. That's what this is all about. Rent is too damn high. Y'all say it with me. Rent is too, too damn high. Damn high. Rent tuition is too, too damn high. Come on, call the tuition is too, too damn, damn high. high. That's what I'm talking about. I came from St. John's. This is nothing. You ready to go now? <laughs> okay.